And we are still with our leopard, even if James hasn't had any success with the mammal life on a cheetah cut line. The queen is enjoying the dacre kill and giving her cubs a demonstration as to what they'll be able to do with their teeth one day as she crunches her way through the bits of bone that they had to nibble around. And the leopard-like Karula is actually capable of consuming most of the bones of a dacre kill, although she'll probably leave the leg bones, but she'll eat most of the ribs. I've seen her finish an entire steenbok before, leaving only a little bit of the lower jaw behind. She ate everything, hooves and all. So there's a common sort of misconception that lions and leopards, unlike hyenas, don't eat bones. They do eat bones. They just tend to go for the slightly smaller ones. The two little cubs, for now, have moved off. But they, I think they will be coming back up in a moment. Now, Deb, in Ohio, you were wondering about how old the cubs will be before they go their separate ways and whether or not they will know each other when they meet up again. It's always an interesting question. Yes, just to, to answer the second one first, yes. They do seem to know each other, leopard siblings. That being said, that doesn't mean that their greeting will be joyous. So, even between mother and daughter, or father and son, leopards are by nature solitary and territorial, which means that they tend not to be very tolerant of another leopard of the same sex. Different sexes, so a male and a female meeting up, might be a little bit more peaceful. A lot less growling, perhaps less posturing over the territory. And it's one of the big things about le male and female leopard cubs is that the females tend to stick around close to home. The males, when they reach full adulthood, will actually move quite a bit further away. And when they separate will depend upon, as I said earlier, the female cubs usually reach independence first, so she most likely, Karula's female cub, will be the first to go. She'll move off at around a year and a half, maybe a little bit older. So that will be the time in which the leopard cubs separate from each other. I am whispering just because there is another vehicle here in the sighting. I don't want to ruin the sighting for them.